I am an architectural and sculptural metalsmith. My, my commitment to found objects and, and reclaimed materials is synonymous with my craft and my work. They are still raw material that can be converted into new works and explored in new ways. I was thrilled when I found out about the Gleaning Residency Program. So I applied and went through a jurying process and was selected as one of the first five uh, artists to do the Glean Residency. We had five months to collect and make ten pieces. As a Glean artist, the experience at the Waste Transfer Station is both thrilling and overwhelming, bewildering and exciting and, and mysterious. It's a weird combination of both feeling a little bit greedy and disgusted at the same time. Because you, you, you're there, I'm an artist, these materials are my, what I work with and I can have as much as I want. And so you want and you want to find that next great thing underneath that thing or that gem of something. I love this, uh, this shelving unit down here. I've crushed two of these already. You don't necessarily know what it is exactly, but you recognize that maybe you've seen it at the hardware store. Maybe you bought one before and assembled it, and maybe it fell apart and ended up here. The Glean program uses art as a tool to bring our awareness to waste, to reconsider what happens with our objects after we throw them away. What I have to do as an artist is take those materials and reconfigure them in a fashion that draws you in and just causes you to take pause and enjoy them for what they are. Maybe you recognize what you see in there, maybe you don't. Uh, but these textures and these patterns are in our collective psyche. So for me, it was about administering the process of collecting the materials. I was looking at them for color, for texture, for uh, compressibility, and then doing whatever it took to manipulate them under the hydraulic press. It was all about crumpling and folding them and then making the choice about where to make the cut. The slice and the pattern that was revealed from that single cut so eloquently told the story of the reshaping of that material as it collapsed and as its structure buckled underneath the force of the equipment. This was a 55 gallon, a green 55 gallon drum that was rolled up lengthwise and then split. It's just got such a great tight fold form in there. What's so exciting about these is that they're 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 so they're still purely what they are. They've just been reconfigured. Artists of all disciplines ought to apply. It will challenge you, it is fun, and you will make work like you never expected you'd make. When you come to this exhibition, you're going to see materials that you may or may not recognize, used in ways you never expected. You're going to find yourself caught up in the details, looking and wondering what these artists were thinking and why they did what they did.